afternoon wherever you are whether you're in the uk or the us if you're in the us then I wish you a happy thanksgiving as we get the show underway there aren't many shows actually going live today with it being thanksgiving uh but we're based in britain and uh in san diego and we're gonna go live today and talk about just doing it and i'm just waiting for linda to arrive and uh, if you are in the audience at the moment if you could say hello that would be good i'm getting lots of uh, i don't know about you but i'm getting hosts of adverts for black friday and black friday used to be an american phenomenon um but it came over to the uk about eight years ago it's caught on and uh the black friday sales seem to start earlier and earlier so we're getting uh invites through to actually join and spend our money uh buying gifts for ourselves and gifts for our uh, kin before christmas and uh the day's not till tomorrow but the adverts have been coming through thick and fast for the last couple of days so if you're watching please say hello just type hello in the comments i will feature your comment on screen and uh, we can take it from there um, as i say i'm still waiting for linda whilst i am waiting for, uh, it's, it's it's the man himself it's fons chamberlain and this would be a good time to actually say that tomorrow all day friday 9 a.m in the morning to 9 p.m in the evening fons chamberlain is actually running a 12-hour charity show for well it's on friday and uh it is for uh bladder cancer and uh, i'm going to be sat in the studio and you will have a chance to actually donate and to be entertained for 12 hours it's action-packed uh Fons has been through and he's got lots of guests live music outside broadcast and most importantly awareness of bladder cancer which can affect us all so you're invited to join the show find out more and donate and you can simply donate by typing donate in the comments when the show goes live tomorrow at nine o'clock uh and it will be followed by another show at one o'clock and then one at five o'clock and by nine o'clock tomorrow night i don't know about ponds but i'm going to be ready i've been promised a beer and um, uh, at nine o'clock tomorrow night when the show actually finishes so that's 12 hour marathon broadcast which we're preparing for at the moment i can see linda so without further ado linda's traveling again so let's go live with linda and see where linda is today and i'll take that off the screen linda will join me hopefully and we hello. are on the screen hello oh gosh now, hello <laughs> yeah you never know today? I never will know where I'm going to be. How could you guys possibly know where I'm going to be? <laughs> Good morning. Right. Uh, Good morning. Yes. It's yes. Uh, Thanksgiving here in, uh, in the United States. And uh, I woke up this morning with no electricity. So I was like, oh, my gosh, I got to go somewhere to do my video. So <laughs> here I'm in my car. And, you know, it's funny. I'm in a, a grocery store parking lot. There's a lot of people here doing their last minute turkey day shopping. What's up with that? I, well, last minute panic buying, I would think. Do you think there are any turkeys left or have they all been snaffled, bought? Uh, snaffled, that's a great word. <laughs> <laughs> I think they've all been snaffled. I'm not sure. They're probably like maybe they forgot their potatoes or something. I don't know. I'm not going I'm not gonna go in there. It's a madhouse, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure it is too. So welcome to the show and this is the Just Do It show with Linda and Stephen. Yes. And where everybody else has cancelled their shows today, we're just doing it. People cancelling their shows? I mean, hello. Yeah, to, this is the only regular show that's actually on today. Wow. You know, the, the Macy's Day Parade has been going on for decades, and it still goes on to this day. So the Just Do It show, you know, we're following suit with the Macy's Day Parade. Right. And Fonz is saying, uh, breaking news, legendary Freddie Fox will be on his show tomorrow. So it's awesome. going to be good. Yeah, I mean, I've been running around. I'm not going to say it live on air, but I'm looking forward to uh, tomorrow at the end of the show. I'm looking forward to the start of the show at 9 a.m. Yes. in the morning. 
but in the 12 hours, I'm sure that uh, both, well, Fonz will be ready for a rest, I know, and so will I. Uh, yeah. Because it's a 12-hour non-stop live for charity. Um, blood well, cancer. How, how do you go to the bathroom and how do you eat? That's the, those are the only questions I have. Like, how are you guys going <laughs> to manage that? <laughs> well, Fonz is okay because he can disappear off screen from time to time. Yes, exactly. While, while, while we're playing music or a video, then Fonz can actually disappear off screen. Uh, I've, I've, got to, I've got to work it out. My bit of it, I don't know yet. Uh, I'll oh. tell you next week. I'll probably write a book about it. Um, yeah. Because uh, it's going to be interesting because uh, what you don't want to do is you don't want to sort of as it were, pop out at the wrong moment. So uh, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that, Linda. We shall find out, though. Yeah, I'm wondering if you guys can do – no, because um, that's the thing that's interesting is only one person can control the board, so to speak, right? I mean, yeah. you, you could have someone else, but it has to be in your location. So it would be interesting – maybe this is something BeLive can work on, is being able to hand over the baton, so to speak, to someone else, you know, during the broadcast. Like maybe you could just hand it over temporarily until yeah. you're ready to come back. So you can go like eat dinner or something. <laughs> we know that such controls, well, possibly, I don't know if they do exist or don't. When Jeff Adams runs the shows, like he did the, the show the other week, uh, week for the two year second birthday oh, uh -huh. he, he was able to control it now that's that's been going for a while it would be good if we did have uh, controls you could just hand over to somebody else not necessarily yeah. in the same location but to hand over the producer controls <laughs> oh Franz has got his solution lined up uh, Linda he's going to have a cardboard cutout a what? And oh, cardboard cutout. <laughs> so he's going to put that on screen and then just disappear and come there back. Well, the thing is, I won't Brilliant. actually. I won't actually be on screen. But one of the things we do have tomorrow, which I can actually try now, is um, we'll have music, and a local artiste, as they say, mm -hmm. has actually uh, recorded some music. So. What I'm going to try and is give you a taste of what's ha happening tomorrow. Perfect. Let's hear it. So I'm going to bring a video in, all things being equal. This is a live test. Anything. Can... I've got to go to the right tab. So give me a second. Okay. Um, that's the one. Okay. I'm going to bring that up on screen. And question is, can you actually... Hear the music. Okay. okay. So I'm going to bring it on screen now, full screen. And then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to press the play button and I'm going to go like that. Yes. Right, I'm back. Did you hear that? Yes, I was able to hear that. And, you know, I love the slide guitar. I mean, um, it's not called the slide guitar, but the thing that they wear on their pinky and they do the slide is so yeah. cool. I love that. Right, okay. And I want to say a big thank you to Zafria Rayon, Chief Technical Officer at BeLive.tv, for telling me the best way to actually share video. Ah. I'm going to share how now. Yay, how now, <laughs> what, you actually, how? <laughs> what you actually do is download the video. Fon sent me the four videos for the four tracks we're playing tomorrow. Okay. I downloaded the four, four, four tracks, and then you right-click and you say open with Google Chrome. That opens, okay. it, that opens it in a Chrome tab, and you share the Chrome tab. 
and that's the easiest way of doing it. And as we've just proved, it simply works. And uh, Fonz is clarifying a little bit and saying, saying it is a cigar box guitar. Oh, okay. Wow. But he had the little, um, the little slide on his finger. What do you call it? I can't remember what it's called, but uh, uh, yeah, whatever. But it, yeah. it sounded cool. I like, I like that guy's playing. What do you think, Stephen? I quite enjoyed it. I quite enjoyed it. But <laughs> on on his first track, he was playing a different instrument. And the first track, I, I didn't play it locally. I uploaded it. I put it to run. And I thought, that guitar sounds a bit wonky. Uh -huh. It didn't sound right. I could hear him singing perfectly, but the guitar playing, the music wasn't right. It wasn't, the rhythm wasn't right. It was choppy and everything. And then um, I thought, that's strange. So I watched the original video, and that's choppy too. <laughs> so oh. there you go. There you go. You learn something every day. <laughs> You are watching exactly. uh, the Just Do It show with Linda and Stephen. Now, uh, of course, it wouldn't be oh, another week, another Talker Tuesday. Yes. What are your thoughts? Oh it's been so fun. You know, this this last week was really interesting. So Taco Tuesday, uh, for those who don't know, it's you know Talk T A L K O Tuesday. I don't know if you're able to put the. Um, the logo up there or not, or maybe the contestants this week. But Taco Tuesday is a talk show idea that I had over a year ago. And I bought the domain and everything, you know, tacotuesday.tv. And I let it sit because I wasn't really ready, but I knew I wanted to do it. And then I met Steven, you know, several months ago. And I thought, oh my gosh, I have a producer. And so, you know, Steven could produce the show if he's interested. And he said yes, which was so awesome, which meant that meant, which meant now I have, it's time for me to move it into position and create the show. So my idea behind Taco Tuesday is you know, it's not about me. This, you know, talk show is not about me and it's not just about me and people I'm interviewing, but I wanted to have co-hosts on the show. I thought that would be more fun. So I decided to do an audition process just like um, inspired by, I should say, by American Idol, where they bring the contestants on and then you vote and you vote for your favorite. And my idea here is that you're going to vote for the favorites that you have who will be on the show to join me live every single week starting January 8th, running for 12 weeks, and that'll be one season. And so I'm super duper excited because it's well underway. We've had three weeks, really, really great um, um, auditioneers that we've had this week was a little bit challenging though because uh normally what we're doing is i'm auditioning for people and so i realized Stephen, yesterday that my numbers are off because what happened this week is one of the contestants who was auditioning uh she had a medical emergency that she had to attend to and it happened suddenly like the night before and then the other one I heard for her, from her in the morning, and she said that she uh, has walking pneumonia. She was hoping that she would be okay for the auditions, but her coughing was just so horrendous that she wasn't able to audition. So this week we ended up with, you know, only two people instead of four. So it actually kind of, it, it kind of skews the numbers a little bit because now what we have is when we come to the finals, which are going to be starting in December, December 4th, Stephen, yeah. is rather than having eight contestants, we're going to have seven. So I'm like, what I'm am I going to do? How am I going to do this? So here's what I'm thinking of doing. And maybe you okay. guys can give me some input. I'd love to hear from the audience, like what your thoughts are. You know, I have ideas. It doesn't mean they're always the right idea. And But these, this is my idea, is that the first week, December 4th, we'll have two people. Um, so you'll vote for one of those two, you know, for the first half hour. And then the second half hour, we'll have two people. So you'll vote for one of those two. And then the following week, instead of having uh, two and two, because I'm now left with three people, is just do three people for the hour. So spend that hour with the three people. And um, that's kind of my idea. Maybe we bring a guest on, you know, I'm not sure exactly how to do it. So I'm not sure well, what to do. As we're brainstorming, storming, I've got an idea. Yes, let's hear it. To, to, to make the seven into eight, you look back at the shows and okay. you pick the host choice of the ones that didn't make it through Ooh. to bring it up to eight. 
I love that idea. So that'll be between you and me. You and oh, me yeah. will. Yeah. It's, it's not going to be just me because yeah. <laughs> that's too much pressure. <laughs> because everybody has been so good. I've really, really enjoyed, you know, the the synergy, uh, the conversations, the the things we're talking about. And I just, I've loved everybody so far. So that's going to, I love that idea. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Um, yeah. Or that's a great idea. But then we also have the two who had their emergency and, and had pneumonia. Yep. What if, what if they both just automatically go into the next round? That wouldn't be fair, but I don't know. No matter what, it's not fair. <laughs> so. no, true, true. Uh, just brainstorming. We've got a couple, we've got a, two weeks yet, haven't we, to actually decide yes. what to do. I know, but I want to have a solution now. <laughs> yeah, so I, I love that idea, though, bringing, bringing one of the, bring the host choice, right? The host and producer yeah. choice. Great idea. I love that. So it's been, it's been a lot of fun, you know, doing this, having, you know, how many, how many ideas do we have a day? I hear we have hundreds of ideas a day. And so how many ideas do we have that we actually implement? And then, and then we implement them and they don't work well, or we implement them and they work well, or we implement them and they work way better than we imagined. And that's how this has been. This is like way better than I ever imagined it would be. So it's, it's been just a lot of fun and it's been great having you, you know, produce the show. Thank you so much for being part of it. And uh, so what Steven's showing up on the screen right now, those were the contestants that we had last week. And the winners of that show were uh, Dr. John and Anita. And so they'll be showing up December 4th, you know, as one of the uh, two competitions going on that day. So really, really excited. I don't know if you're able to show any of the other cards or not. Just a minute. But let's, see. You... let's see what we have. Let's see if we can. Okay. Let's see what we have there. So, so this one, this was a, this totally fluke. Um, so Hala, Alexander and Sandra, um, all three of them were unable to compete. So, you know, things happen and we've just, I just had to modify, you know, as, as I go, um, just making sure that we can make it work for the show. So Janine is the only one who actually auditioned <laughs> from that card. And, uh, so we had somebody else who, who auditioned also was, um, oh my gosh, I, I'm so Sarah? sorry. I'm, Yes, yeah, Sarah, thank you. Drawing a blank here. Like I'm trying to remember all the names. It's been a little bit difficult for me, but it's been a lot of fun. And what's cool too, Stephen, is um, I just assumed that the people who were going to audition were going to be people I knew. And about 50% mm -hmm. are people I've never met before. And so that too has been awesome. That means people were sharing it and um in you know asking people to either audition or sharing it and people were seeing it like oh my gosh i want to try for that so it's been really really awesome true and we say hello to vincent yeah it's been hello. amazing uh, for, for, hello vincent it's been amazing i uh, sat in the back seat producing the show and actually listening and watching and learning uh from a variety of people all of whom are at the top of their game and yes. uh, the the thing that's got me though is that with perhaps the odd exception, there's been no competitive spirit. In other words, the guests have got on well to, as, and all. That they yes. talked to each other and enjoyed each other's companies and become friends afterwards because they weren't friends before. So a whole lot of things are happening just because of the show. And I think that's that's brilliant. I'll just see if I yeah. can find another photo. There we right. go. Sarah yeah. and Janine. Yeah, so they're the ones who were on this week. And actually... Uh, if you'd like to go watch the show, I'm not sure, Stephen, if you can find the link to last enough. week's show, to this week's show that maybe posted in the comments. So you guys can go watch the show and then vote for your favorite by going to Living Living Life, by going to TalkOtuesday.tv. And, you know, to, on your point about the, the guests, uh, I'm hoping that because of the language that I used in the audition application process, I'm hoping that that languaging is what's bringing in people who have that, um, that positive collaborative type of um, 
attitude because that's what I believe in. Like, I believe totally 100% in collaboration and cooperation, not competition, because there's enough to go around for everybody. There's an abundance, right? And so the competition that they are having has been a lot of fun. It's been friendly competition. And like you said, like they're uh, friending each other, you know, they're becoming friends and, and just because of, you know, being on the show together. So it's awesome. It's so awesome. So thank you again for being the producer of the show. If you're looking for a producer of your show, I highly recommend Stephen Healy. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. I'm excited. Ask me why I'm excited. Mm, Stephen, why are you excited? Thank you. Um, <laughs> I broadcast on a Wednesday uh, about Messenger bots with RJ Redden, and we've been mm -hmm. doing the show for about 12 months now, and it's all about how Messenger bots can help with your show. And two months ago, we sort of said, well, should we actually create a Udemy course about Messenger bots specifically okay. for broadcasters? So we started to work together and we went live on Be Live TV, going to Twitch and got the HD recordings of the two of us chatting about various topics, turned those into lessons. We did videos on our own desktops, RJ's on a Mac, I'm on a PC, mixed it all together. And the result is that today sees the release of, I'll just take that down off screen, Woo! Uh, sees the release of Bots for Broadcasters, uh, a ah, Udemy course by... RJ Redden and Stephen Healy, and uh, we're excited because we have loved doing it, we've enjoyed doing it, and now it's published, and it's published in time for Black Friday. So if anybody would like to uh, know more about Messenger bots, and we assume no knowledge at all, this takes you from setting up your first ever ManyChat account, tells you what it's like to broadcast without a bot, tells you what it's like to broadcast with a bot, and then it gives you three bots which you can use in every single show that you do. Mm. First of all, it's a welcome bot. So if people say hello during the show, you can then set the welcome bot into action and you've got an engaged person and they'll come back and watch your next show. We've also got the show bot. And where you've got a show with several different guests on, it'll hold all their information. So people can type info, and it will go through into Messenger and it will give you links to Because we did this for five days live because you mm -hmm. did a special off uh, on the five days live. We had the show bot and that gave information about Linda, links to uh, Living Life TV, links to a Facebook page. And you could actually just go into that and you could actually find out the information and take the special offer. So show bot. And the third one, which we all know well, is the guest bot where you can actually type guest in the comments and uh, you get an invitation to actually join us on camera. So there are three bots in the course, all explained, and uh, you see them in action. We tell you what they do, and then in addition to that, we give you step-by-step -step written instructions on how to do it. So that's all in the course. It's available on Udemy today. This is the first ever day it's been on sale. <laughs> and if, if you want to go and check it out, you'll, you'll certainly uh, make our day. It makes a fantastic thanksgiving present no you can't say that yeah. can you christmas <laughs> present okay there you go well so uh can you put a link to that uh you know up in the description and as well as in the comments below because that's really cool congratulations that's so Thank fantastic you. and you know you guys bots um bots have a bad name i think you know because some people you know just like anything you know if something gets out there it's amazing and then people abuse it and then, then people get disgusted by it because they're, it's been abused. Well, there are people like, you know, Stephen and RJ, you know, they teach you how to use it so you're not abusing it. And so that's really, really valuable information. So I do have a question, though, because okay. um, and see if my understanding is correct or if something has changed. And that is that for the messenger bots to work in the broadcast, only one can be active at a time as a, a keyword, so for example, when you said they could type the word guest or they can type the word hello and they'll get a messenger bot, can they only get one of those for that particular broadcast? Can you hear me? Uh -oh. Yeah, C currently okay. that, is, that is correct. Um, 
I'm just going to post the link. It's like, where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> I'm still here. Am I still here? You're still here, yeah. <laughs> right, okay. I just posted, I had to open up uh, a new tab. So, because my... Okay, cool. Oh, it is working, yeah. So, there's the link uh, to a special uh, thanks Black Friday price, even though it's only Thursday, and you can go along and uh, take advantage of that. You can only respond once as a, a viewer. You can only respond once. So if you can set up as many bots as you like to uh, a particular video or post, and you can say, right, okay, in the first 30 minutes, type donate, and you get the donate. Um, and then the next 30 minutes, you've got another one you can actually use, you set up. Uh, but you can't, one person cannot put two comments in, if you're with me, which is what you said. Oh, okay. So I did mention it. So you can actually have more than one messenger bot set up. But once somebody types one of the bot messages, like, for example, they type, like you said, donate for tomorrow, right? So they type the word donate. If another bot is um, available for that broadcast, they won't be able to receive the automatic message from the messenger bot. Correct. Um, I mean, I, 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 I mix up the word guest with uh, another, any other word, and but the number of people typing guest is, is very small. So majority of the audience will still be able to, do, to use the second one. That's cool. Yeah. I had no idea. So you can have more than one word, keyword, yeah. that people can type in the same broadcast. That we changes did, everything. We did a show. Uh, I did a show on Tuesday night um, with Dan Nelson, who owns a chocolate factory in Yummy. Wiltshire. The uh, raw chocolate chocolate factory. The chocolate is good for you. You can't eat much of it. That's why it's good for you. It's so rich. <laughs> and okay. Send some my way. I'll let you know if it's too rich. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, we introduced the show. We talked about raw, raw chocolate. And then Dan did a, a cooking demonstration where he actually made raw chocolate, put it in the fridge to set, came back, here's some I made earlier, and he had 12 delicious chocolates there. And then he did his sales pitch. And basically he said, uh, if you'd like this kit, it's uh, $5 off if you use this code and type it in the, in the message, in the comments. Uh -huh. Do you know what? People did, and he sold is chocolate kits so it works oh fantastic so that's a great idea right so if you're a person who's doing a live broadcast and you have a product you sell or a service you sell and you're not sure like how you can use the messenger bots there's a great idea right there something you can do and we were final bit on bots we're talking to uh RJ and i were talking to funds last wednesday and just before the show we knew funds was going to join us and he's the one running tomorrow's charity show mm -hmm. and we said well why can't we have a charity bot so that when people are actually watching the show they can type in donate go off to messenger get a link to the page on just giving to make the donation yeah mm -hmm. get a link to the charity page and get a link to the medical page which explains all about bladder cancer and that's exactly what's happening tomorrow. So if you watch the show tomorrow and you type in donate, then you can not only donate, but you can find out more about uh, prevention and treatment of bladder cancer because it can happen to anybody. Yeah. Uh, so we should be aware. And uh, the beautiful thing is that with cross-posting, everything comes together, you see. With cross-posting, you can type donate on the original page but you can also type donate on be live in five the live video hub and the tvsn page and it will work so in other words there are bots on all four copies of the show and um, no matter where you're watching from you know we get this mess where people comment in the wrong place right well, that's that's done away with for this donate because we've put the same bot on four different pages and uh, test them out. Mm. So when we go yeah. along, uh, people will be able to donate everywhere. That's fantastic. Right. I love that. I love it. I love it. I love it. Right. You give me so many great ideas about bots. Thank you. 
<laughs> well, but, but so wonderful. And I, I just, uh, I, the power of them, the simple to do, it's just like learning another language, really, like learning French or German. Uh, you pick it up at a bit of time and you take the bits that you need to know and you put those and you put those into a box. I mean, you, do you play chess? I do. Not very well, but I do. That's okay. Not very well is good. Not very well. I don't play very well either. I do play that. Okay. <laughs> um, if you can play chess, you can do box. That's, hey, we that's can it. do a chess match for Taco Tuesday. I mean, for we can do a chess match here for our just do it Thursday one time, maybe. Brilliant. Do you, <laughs> you know what? There's, you, I, I sort of thought, well, that's strange. Over on Twitch, there is always a chess game going on. Really? And you can go and watch people play chess live, and you've got the board – and you've got the um, moves down the side, and then you've got a grandmaster actually giving a narration to the play. Oh, my God. And it sort of, it sort of works. It's wacky, but it works. And you can actually pick up uh, hints, tips, and tricks about chess. Mm -hmm. So on Twitch. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Yeah, true. Right. Do you, are we getting towards the end of this year? Do you have any predictions as to what's going to happen in 2019 on my video? On live video. Well, I my prediction is that there are going to be more people using it. Um, that I it's, it's interesting because live video started a little over two years ago. It's almost been three years now. I think April is three years. It, it, since April, April, almost three years ago is when I yeah. got it on my phone. Like the day it came yeah. on my phone, I was there. Like, boom, yeah. I was there. Um, I have an Android, so I think it was like two weeks after iPhone. So, you know, it's... Um, I've been using it ever since that very day. And my prediction for live video is that more and more people are going to become more comfortable with it. And as what's been the interesting thing that I've been seeing is that uh, before live video, in order to have a talk show like this, you had to mm -hmm. go into a studio. You probably had to pay thousands of dollars to be able to go into a studio and have your own talk show. And then, you know, you go in in a suit, you go in in a, you know, a nice dress, you go, you know, so there was like all this like protocol that happened. Or if you're going to go on the news, you got to make sure you're dressed a certain way, get your hair and makeup done. You know, so it's like there's all this protocol that you had to follow. But now that we have live video and now that people are starting their own talk shows, like I'm doing Taco Tuesday, it's much more relaxed. People are in their own setting. Like right now I'm in my car, you know, which is not the best ideal setting, you know, for a, a live video, but it's the setting that I have right now. And, and I believe, I believe this to be true, that authenticity is going to skyrocket through the roof as more and more people start doing live videos because we've spent so many you know, years and years and centuries of people hiding behind you know, their, their masks. And I think people are going to start, you know, taking off that mask and start sharing who they are as a true, honest, you know, person, individual. And that's what I think live video is going to do for us in 2019. I'm so excited to be part of it and to be, you know, at the forefront of it. Like I said, it came, you know, did the very first day. And I know that my message, the message that I share is all about being, you know, vulnerable, authentic, you know, being inspiring, uplifting, and, you know, being a positive, positive force on this planet. Live video gives the opportunity to those who have a positive message to put out there. It gives us an opportunity to share that message, to share our light on the world instead of all the darkness that is out there. You know, like if you watch the news, I'm going to say probably 75% of the news is depressing and you know, just downright not happy, okay. you know? And so for me, like my mission, you know, that's why Taco Tuesday, it's, it's, you know, fun, uplifting and, you know, inspiring because I just, I just think that there's so much good in this world and it's time that the people who have this good stuff to share that we actually take our, you know, get, stop being scared of sharing and get out there and start sharing the goodness in the world. That's what I think. And that's my prediction. And I stand by it. That's What's yours? Powerful message with which I totally agree. I think that we are very lucky. I mean, live video is the best way to network that has ever been. Yes. Yeah? 
because we can talk to and see and listen to people from around the world. And I think 2019 is, is going to bring innovation. It's going to bring things which will help us to give a brilliant live experience for everybody. That's people who are actually on camera and people off camera. And that will come about through the competition between the different software. I mean, Be Live is, is sort of top of the, it is at the top at the moment, but then you've got other people coming up. You've got mm -hmm. Livestream and StreamYard, and they're doing different things. Uh, but the thing that we're fortunate in is that the big guys this year, next year, 2019, are going to do battle. You've got Facebook with Facebook Live. You've got YouTube with YouTube and you've got Amazon with Twitch and they're all vying to get broadcasters. Mm -hmm. So we're here at the best time because any competition between the three of them is going to benefit us. Yeah. yeah they're fighting <laughs> for, they're fighting for content. They're fighting for people to go and broadcast on their platforms. And yeah. um, it's, it's an opportunity for us to actually sort of, sort of break out of Facebook and go to Twitch, which is why I'm glad Be Live TV is on Twitch now. And we can using other software, shall we say, begins with S T R A M, mm -hmm. uh, we can go to YouTube <laughs> um, and Periscope. So the, the opportunities yeah. that we've got, I mean, I I've got this this thing. If at the moment um, Twitter and Periscope, people have sort of written it off, I don't think I think we've now got an opportunity to actually take four people live on screen over to Periscope and blow people out of the water, yeah, with a short yeah. 20 to 30-minute show and obviously promoted via Twitter, but to actually say to people, right, okay, you're on Twitter, you're actually going through the tweets now, how would you like to come on camera? Yeah, mm, and just mm -hmm. pull people in from the street. Anything's possible. So... It's going to be exciting next year if this year wasn't exciting enough. Um, yeah. Everything that's gone. Um, because we've been doing this show for a while, enjoying it. And we've yes. also you dreamed up Talker Tuesday. And that's, as, as you said earlier, that's exceeding all expectations, not just the people who, are, who actually want to be the co-host, but the voting has been through the roof, hasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Way more than I expected. And it's almost so every time somebody votes, I get an email and it's almost to the point where I'm thinking of turning off the notifications. You know, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's exciting, yeah. but it's it's kind of interesting because I think it's like that with a lot of things in life, you know, that we get all excited about when it happens and then it happens over and over and over again. It's like, okay, that's a little bit annoying now, but so it's like the excitement can turn into an annoyance. Um, I'm not, it's not an annoyance yet because I still get excited that people are voting, but it's like, Oh my gosh. Okay. Maybe I should turn it off, <laughs> but I love it. I love it. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. And so unexpected. The best things, are unexpected you don't expect them to happen and all of a sudden something just takes off and as you said you can have a thousand ideas and it takes one to take yeah. root like talk on tuesday has and you're off and running yeah and that's a, a great um, point right there because we're you know, we're talking this is a just do it show right Stephen? is um we have a we have so many ideas and you know, you put this idea into action and and it's a bomb you know it's like it just does not work so you let it go then you have another idea and you put that into action and it bombs and i know i know a lot of people who uh, after bombing on something different things you know a few times they give up but here's the thing you never know when your idea is the idea is that stellar idea that's really going to to really hit it big. Like I have another idea I'm working on with a, a partner and I can't wait to like, we'll probably launch it the beginning of the year. And you know, when we launch that in our minds, it's going to be absolutely phenomenal and amazing. As I know it is. And, you know, but we'll see what happens. Right. <laughs> I'm excited. Indeed. Indeed. But if you, if you don't try, you'll never succeed. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, imagine, you know, imagine um, what Thomas Edison, you know, he failed 10,000 times where he says, I didn't fail 10,000 times. I found 10,000 ways not to do it. But imagine, imagine if he quit after the third or fourth attempt, 
you know, we wouldn't have almost anything we have now, you know, That's because true. it's, you know, with electricity, like that is that, you know, just that one little thing, it runs so much on this entire planet. Totally. And without it, we'd have no phones, no computers, no television, no electric cookers, no central heating, no air conditioning. But I'll tell you, exactly. what, there is something that's as important as electricity. And we found that out uh, earlier this week. Um, What's that? In the uh, sort of um, extension to the house is where the washing machine lives. Yep. Uh-huh. And the washing machine is fed from a type, uh, tap, which is set into the wall, and it's, but it's on the outside wall. And uh, the tap just blew yeah, and it broke. The tap broke. The water shot out all across the floor, oh all over gosh. everything. And Angelica switched the water off pretty quickly, but she got soaked. And then I thought, well, I'll give it a go. I'll try and just do it. I'll just sort this tap out. And I just tried to hold the tap, the broken tap, together. Uh -huh. do you know what? You know what? That didn't work either. And I got uh -oh. soaked through. Oh, so, no. <laughs> you've now got a house where you, you've turned off the stop tap and you've no water at all. Now, you cannot live without water. Mm -mm. You cannot live without water at all. And that's why plumbers charge so much, because they know that, and, yeah. <laughs> uh, especially in, emer in emergency. But we've got a, a friendly plumber who came around within uh, two hours and totally sorted anything out. But you can't live without water because the, you, the bathroom doesn't work. You can't have a coffee. You can't boil anything. You can't wash anything. Mm -hmm. So electricity and water are very, very important. And uh, say hello to Sam, who's joined us. That's um, true. Hello, Sam. Yeah, that, yeah, that's so true. I, I can imagine you seeing you as a just like soaking wet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Did you yeah, get pictures? Yeah. <laughs> Did you get pictures? <laughs> no, no, that was not, that was not fun. Um, but, I mean, it's, it's when things go wrong. That's that's when you've got to sort of stay calm and say right, okay, yeah, and 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 take the necessary steps, and we and, know. And then, and then also, it gives you, it reminds you of that appreciation, right, for the things oh, yeah. that you do have, because uh, like right now, like I said, you know, I woke up this morning with no electricity, and um, we had no electricity for three and a half days here because the winds were so strong that the electric company turned off the electricity because we're in a fire prone area also. So if uh, mm -hmm. any of the um, f uh, poles downed and, you know, were on and downed into a tree, then we could, you know, have a fire spark. So we had no, yep. no power at all for, you know, three and a half days. And so it really does give you that appreciation for what you do have. And so there are a lot of people who don't have running water. There are a lot of people who don't have electricity. So we're so fortunate. You know, like they, what do they say? First world problems, you know, ah, yeah. my internet went yeah. down first world problem, you know, <laughs> like, yeah. but it's, but it's reality for us. It is. I mean, we are we are fortunate um, because you said there are countries where lack of water is a situation. I mean, even even Brigetti. I mean, Brigetti lives in Cape yeah. Town, South Africa, and during our our summer, uh, well, she, she was they were running out of water. The reservoirs mm -hmm. run dry, and they were limited to twenty liters of water a day. Which is nothing. Which is no, nothing at all. I mean, as a per, as an individual, we all use fifty liters. Oh, okay. So, if you've got four people in a house, that's two hundred liters, and but that's been knocked down to eighty. How do you exist? How do you do? Yeah. It's, like, it's close to having no water at all. Um, yeah. And to, you could. I mean, the government. The government was saying you can only shower for two minutes. Now. Wow. I don't know about you, but if I go in the shower, it takes me two minutes to actually sort of get chilled, and then so yeah. two minutes, to, two minutes, two minutes to actually uh, sort of complete the whole shower is is just no time at all. So we are lucky to be where we are, uh, but it's I mean yes. South Africa is I don't know it is uh, first world and third world all at the same time. Yeah, uh, it's a very strange situation. Um, yeah. That's interesting, yeah, because 
there, yeah, there are some countries that are like that, right? They're, they're first world and third world. Uh, uh, one of my yeah. friends went to India and he was telling me how, <clears throat> excuse me, on one side of the street literally is first world in the fact that, you know, they're living in mansions that are like with gold and like yeah. just obscene first world. And then across the other street is people living in tents or they have shanties and, and yeah. they have just coverings over them. So it is interesting, you know, the world, um, you know, you're, you're in the world that you're in, wherever you're living is your world. And mm -hmm. even though we live on this huge ball, this huge planet, you know, we still have our own little world and we see the world through from here out. And, you know, yeah. so we don't even see what's going on inside sometimes. It's, that's, that's very true. Um, yeah. I mean, the, the, it's just even developed countries can have problems. That's the thing. Um, mm -hmm. and, you know, I mean, you've had uh, on the West Coast, you've had fires. Yep. Lots yeah. of fires. Yeah. We've been fortunate with no earthquakes lately. Knock on wood. It's been about four or five years. Yeah. Uh, I'm in California, so we're, we are prone to earthquakes. And, and it's been uh, the longest, I think, the longest stint we've had without one. So That's maybe they've all been patched up. They've all been patched up. That's it. <laughs> Or a long way that they may that continue that, uh, that nothing happens. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. So <laughs> next Tuesday is Talker Tuesday, and it's that's the on final of the round one. Final of round Ooh. one, um, and I have one of the contestants who uh, you know I have not heard from her at all, and so I'm gonna I need to I'm gonna bring someone else in to fill her slot. So, so that's going to be, um, we'll post that, you know, the people for that one, you know, soon. And then, um, also please go vote at talkotuesday.tv for this week's who was, you know, Sandra and I'm sorry, not Sandra, Sarah, Sandra, and Sarah, Sarah and Janine, there are contestants. So please go vote for one of those. And then Stephen and I will choose someone from, if you're watching and you've been a contestant of the show, and uh, you were not voted into the next round, one of you is going to be selected to go into the following round. And I'll probably put that all on Stephen, let him choose. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I'll, actually what I'll do, Stephen, is I'll go look at the votes and let the votes yeah. decide. That way it's not okay. between you and me. It's based yeah. on the number of votes that, that, people, um, that people had. That way you and I don't, because it's too hard. <laughs> it's, 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 it's too line. hard. Um, and. It, yeah, yeah, that's that's fair. That's the fairest way to do it. Yeah. Right, so what we'll do is we'll wait till after next week, uh, see yeah. who is of of that round. Also, you know, from all four weeks, see who all is not moved into round two, and then the person who has the most votes from there will go into round two. Very good. Sounds Perfect. good. Right. Now I've come up with a wacky idea, and What's I'm going to run with it for the moment. Basically, we all start shows on the hour. So we start at one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, and we finish. Right. We finish on the hour. Right. Which means that if you've got back to back shows, you've got a problem. No break. Yeah. <laughs> you've got no break. <laughs> Which you have, by the way. You have back to back shows, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I do. I do sometimes, especially on, on Thursdays. I've got yes. four o'clock. I've got a show at four, five, and six on Thursdays. Um, right. But basically, what I'm, my idea for 2019 is that you finish your show. You start your show on the hour, but you finish okay. it five minutes to the hour. That's a gives, good idea. Which gives the host time to sort of rejig themselves and come back and gives the viewers a chance to go and get a cup of coffee, cup of tea, glass of water, whatever they want, and then go on to the next show. That's a so great idea. The five so with break, that... <laughs> With that, we're just like a couple minutes uh, into it, so we might as well. We're going to end our show. Yeah. That sounds That's good a to me. Segue. Okay, <laughs> Linda, it's over to you to close the show. Okay, just do it. You know, here's the thing. I spent so many years of my life, you know, the first 51 years of my life, not just doing it because I had a lot of fears. So if there's some fears that are causing you to not do some of the things that you want to do in your life, I highly recommend that, you know, hey, first of all, you, you can reach out to me and I can help you through some of your fears because in 2015, I faced a fear every single day, which really helped me to recognize fear quickly and then just blast right through it, which causes me to just do it 
frequently. So there's a lot of things I'm doing that I never would have done before. So if there are things that you want to do, you know, figure out how you're going to make it happen. Stop saying, can't, I can't do this. You know, you can do it. So whatever it is you want to do, whatever it is in your heart's desire, make sure you live your life with no regrets and just do it. <laughs> just do it. So it's goodbye from Wiltshire in England. And, and we'll San see Diego. You, we'll see you next Tuesday. 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. in the UK with Talker Tuesday. Bye for yes. now. Bye-bye. <laughs>